scientists in California are racing against the clock to find a vaccine for the deadly novel coronavirus that has claimed 722 lives. An aviation medicine specialist, Dr. Yakubu Atmaribu, has indicated it could take three months for scientists to find a vaccine for the coronavirus. The main mode of transmission is by respiratory droplets. If someone has the illness and then the person coughs, or sneezes or spits out. So those ones uh, are secretions that the person releases into the environment. When another person inhales it, then the person will also get the illness. But this particular one, that is now uh, in China, because it's new, we don't know completely its uh, way of transmission. But there are some other ways that we still don't know because it's, it's just a new uh, virus. Dr. Yakubu is an aviation medicine specialist at Care Flight. He does medicals for pilots and cabin crew. He cautioned the public on the coronavirus. We shouldn't panic about uh, this illness. Uh, if you travel to China for businesses, for now, I would advise that you, you stay away. You don't uh, travel to China. If you're a Ghanaian, you shouldn't go now until uh, the virus, uh, the illness is contained there. But if you've traveled there and you've returned to Ghana within the pa past 14 days and then you develop a cough, fever, and then like flu-like symptoms like common cold and all that stuff, what you need to do is to uh, report to the nearest uh, medical center. And when you get to the medical center, don't get out from your car. Just alert the health professionals that you've traveled to China and you have the symptoms so that they would then put on PPEs before they come into uh, contact with you. The aviation medicine specialist on the impact of the coronavirus on Ghana's aviation industry. It's a massive uh, economic impact. I wouldn't say it's, it's going to like disrupt flights, but definitely the travel volumes are going to reduce. When we talk about finding a vaccine, and a cure, are they one and the same thing? What we normally do is that with vaccines, we use like the killed form of the virus or the membrane, the covering of the virus to develop what we call antibodies to fight the virus. So it just prevents you from catching it, but it doesn't kill you if you have the illness. Viral infections, they just run their course. If you are fortunate and you survive it, then that's it. But we can develop like medications to treat it for treatment. The vaccination is to prevent. For now, scientists are racing up to get a vaccine uh, for, for this uh, virus. I think it's going to run for the next two, three months. Uh, but I believe strongly that for sure we'll definitely get the, the vaccine for it and then contain it.